Hello, my name is Ivan and welcome to the channel. As you may have seen, I'm documenting in a series of videos what is my process of making a rock song. So in the previous videos, what we did was basically write the whole draft song and I gave you guys as well a bunch of songwriting tips and I hope all of these videos were useful for you. If you haven't seen those, just click the link that's above here. In today's video, we are going to record that draft song and we're gonna get everything ready and set up for the recording session. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also please don't forget to hit the like button. Now let's move on with the logo. Before we begin, please don't forget to download the PDF that I wrote on song structures. You will find a basic definition of song structures, some basic concepts. As well, you will find the song structures outline of the Grammy Award winners for best rock song of the past 10 years. So I hope this is a very useful document for you. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below and subscribe to the channel and you will be able to access the PDF. Just to do a quick recap on our last video of this series, we were finalizing the draft song, our scratch song, and what we did was we wrote the bridge of the song and I showed you the different methods that I used and now our scratch song is ready. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to the computer in Pro Tools and record that draft song and that is going to be the foundation for our recording process and for all of the upcoming steps. And now what I did is I created a Pro Tools session. I have a track here that is ready and here is where I'm going to record the guitar, which is the instrument that I'm going to use as a foundation, the acoustic guitar. That is something that could change. And actually, if I were going to record a track for a drummer, I would try to record at least electric guitars, bass and vocals so that when the drummer is listening to the track, to the backing track, they are able to you know, get into the mood of the song and just feel it a little bit more and get into emotions of the song and that is going to be translated in the performance in the recording of the drummer. Now in this case, since we are in a lockdown, I'm not gonna be able to do so, but um, as a starting point, as a foundation, I'm going to record my acoustic guitar here. One thing that I did is I was trying to figure out the tempo of the song and I used the tap tempo function here in Pro Tools and just by hitting the T key in, on my keyboard I was trying to figure out what's the tempo for the song and so I did something like La vida que siempre busqué, la vida que siempre anhele tener, la vida que siempre busqué es Jesús, solo Él. And it, it showed me that it should be something around 146 bits per minute. Something that I also do is I try to keep my process flexible. So as much as I can, I try to have control on several variables over the course of the song production process. So later on, if I feel like I need to change the tempo, I try to keep the process flexible so that, that I so that I can do that as much ahead in the process as possible. At some point, I will have to commit to a tempo. I will have to commit to the key of the song and several other aspects, but I will try to keep it flexible as much as I can because, you know, sometimes I just wake up and I just don't like the song. I don't like the way it is heading, so I give it a full turn or a halfway turn but the idea is to keep it as flexible as possible. I have the tempo ready for the song. Now it is time to plug in my guitar and start recording the draft song. I have Pro Tools ready. Um, the channel is ready here. I created uh, a second channel and I recorded some, some guitar parts. I'm going to uh, continue recording. The bridge is good. I remember he had a solo, so I'm just going to um, Use this second track here and continue recording. Okay. 
so that would be it for our draft song i'm just going to give it another listen and see if i can fix some things here and there and just count the number of rounds that i have for the bridge maybe i think i did one more but these are things that i can edit and but our scratch song is ready so let me just fast forward and i will show you guys the end result in a moment okay so i finalized the recording uh, process i did some edits as you can see here uh to the um, to the guitar that i recorded i corrected some parts and i also added a solo because after the second chorus there is going to be a solo and after the solo we are going to have a sort of like a break and the rhythm is going down and music is going to be softer and there are going to be some lyrics there and then we have the outro of the song so let's take a listen and see how the draft song is sounding in that particular section of the song. Pero ya es hora de empezar a descubrir yeah, okay, so that's the idea. I will try to keep this process as flexible as possible. So if I ever decide to change something, that's something that I, I can do. For example, it could be the number of rounds here or the solo. This is just the initial idea of a solo that I had, but I could keep trying or at the time it is going to be recorded, I could also change it. And we still have a long way to go. We need to figure out the sound for that guitar and many other uh, variables. So for now, uh, this is it. What I'm going to do now is I will record vocals to have uh, the main vocal for this scratch song. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, fast forward, record the vocals, and then show you um, the, show you what it looks like after I record some vocals. So, to you in a moment. Intenté encontrarte en fama, sexo, drogas y rock and roll. Okay, so uh, this is it for now. I have just finished recording um, vocals for this song. And the idea now is that there are some parts of the song, some sections that still need lyrics. For example, the bridge. The lyrics for the bridge are not defined. I still yet have to define if I'm going to leave the ending like, like it is right now. But if we take a look here at the time of the song, the duration of the song, it is 3 minutes and 55 seconds. So usually I don't like having a song that is longer than 4 minutes, but that's not a rule. Again, I have many songs um, that last over 5 minutes. So, But in this case, I would prefer to keep it under 4 minutes. Along the way, as we get into the process and I give it some more thought i will decide if i want to maybe add some additional music for the outro or not also the lyrics for the chorus are pretty much the same throughout the song so i'm yet to define whether i want to keep it that way ideally i'm going to change it at least vary the lyrics a little bit so that it is not exactly the same every time keep the melody but in general terms this is what the scratch song the draft song looks like i think i'm pretty much ready to start recording and that would be it i, I think the process is ready now we will continue with the following steps on the next videos Okay, so now we have ready our draft song. We have it ready in Pro Tools, and it is a foundation to start the recording process. So thank you for being with me during this journey of documenting the process of making rock song. If you have followed me in this video and in this series, please let me know in the comments below. I would like to know if you have a different approach for any of these steps, or if you would do something in a different way, and I'm sure that I can learn something from what you guys are doing, okay? So that's it. That would be it for this video. If you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, please hit the like button and the notifications so that you are aware every time there is new content on the channel. And on the next video, we will start our recording process in a more formal way. We will start putting together our song. So stay tuned to the channel and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.